What is going on in the Cleveland area real estate market as of November of 2022? Is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? What is happening with home values? Let's take a look and find out. Hi, I'm George Poprad with eXp Realty. And today we are going to take a look at the latest info for the real estate market here in the Cleveland area to help you understand what is going on. We have seen some pretty dramatic changes from this time last year. So let's take a look at the stats and then I'll give you my opinion on what the next few months might look like. Now we're going to be focusing on Cuyahoga County as a whole, as well well as the west side and southwest suburbs. Why the west side? Because I live here in Lakewood and I do the majority of my business here on the west side. So I know these areas really well. I track data on about 14 suburbs monthly. So these are the areas that I'm going to be focusing on. But if you're looking for information on a specific area or city, please reach out and I'll be happy to provide you with the info for your area. So first things first, in Cuyahoga County, the number of new listings, which is how many single family homes have come on the market in October of this year versus October of 2021 is down 18% overall. So that's a pretty big shift from last year. One of the main drivers for the seller's market we've seen for the last few years was a declining inventory. The last few months, we actually saw inventory increasing, which was slowing things down a bit. But now we are back to a declining number of new listings coming on the market. Taking a look at a couple of individual West Side suburbs, we are seeing the same decrease in new listings coming on the market year over year. New listings in Westlake are down 6%. Brexville is down 14%. North Royalton is down 26%, and new listings of single family homes in Lakewood is down 55% from the same time last year. On the other side of the coin, how many homes are coming off the market and going under contract? New listings are down, so let's take a look and see how that's affecting the pending homes. Pending single family homes in Cuyahoga County were down 38% in October of this year versus October of 2021. So what is going on here? Well, with interest rates rising, there are many buyers out there who aren't able to purchase what they want to purchase. You are also seeing the pool of active buyers starting to shrink. Taking a look at a couple of individual West Side suburbs, we are seeing the same thing across the board. Pending homes are down. Pending single family homes in North Olmstead are down 16% from the same time last year. Bay Village is down 35%, Westlake is down 41%, and pending single family homes in Rocky River are down 50% from the same time period last year. So overall, the number of homes going under contract is down, while the number of new listings coming on the market is also down. So what does this mean for the total inventory? Taking a look at the months of available inventory, which basically means if no more homes came on the market, how long would it take to sell everything on the market? In Cuyahoga County, we are looking at about two and a half months worth of inventory of single family homes. Now this is up 55% from one year ago. Now this number is up in much of the area nearby as well. Months of available inventory in Lakewood is up 9%, Brexville is up 25%, North Olmsted is up 72%, and months of available inventory in Strongsville is up 140% from the same time period one year ago. So the total inventory of available single family homes for sale is increasing, while the number of homes going under contract is decreasing. So how quickly are homes actually selling? On average in Cuyahoga County, single family homes are actually selling about 8% faster than they were a year ago. So real quick, if you are taking anything away from this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I do try to post new and helpful content regularly. So what is really going on? Well, mortgage rates have continued to rise. And for a 30 year conventional loan, you're looking at interest rates in the mid to high sevens. 15 year fixed rate loans, you could probably find in the mid to low sixes. And some adjustable rate mortgages, you could probably find in the low sixes and maybe even some below 6%. And with interest rates continuing to climb and market uncertainty, many buyers are just sitting back waiting to see what's going to happen. So now how are all these stats and factors affecting property values? You might be surprised, but prices are actually up in many areas. Looking at the median price point, Again, the median price point is the price that sits right in the middle. 50% of the homes sold have sold above that price point and 50% of the homes sold below that price point. The median price point on single family homes sold in Cuyahoga County is up about 5% from the same time period last year. Looking again at some individual cities, Bay Village single family home values are up about 3%. Strongsville is up about 5%, Lakewood is up 13%, and North Olmsted single family home values are up about 20% from the same time last year. So now why are these property values still up? On average, many homes are still selling at or above listing price. But with the continually increasing inventory of available homes and the fact that homes are starting to sit on the market just a little bit longer, I would expect to see these numbers continue to fall over the next few months. We might still be up year over year, but it will be a much smaller increase moving forward. So you've watched this video and now you're wondering what you should do. If you're thinking about buying a home and it makes sense for you, then buy now. Of course, buying a home is an investment, but it's also a place to live. 
place to raise a family, and a place to make memories. On the other side of things, if you're thinking, should I sell my home? The numbers still show that we are in a seller-friendly market, although it was not quite as seller-friendly as it was a year or two ago. But if you think it might be the right time to sell, reach out, let's have a conversation to see if it makes sense for you. So that's where the market is right now. Inventory has been slowly increasing while demand has slowly been decreasing. Prices are still up, but not as much as they were a few months ago. Looking ahead, interest rates will probably keep things in check for a while. And as we begin to look forward, we will probably start to get a better idea of how the first few months of next year will play out. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home here in the Cleveland area, or if you just have some real estate or home related questions, I would love to help guide you through the process. So feel free to reach out. You can call, text, or email me. But let's just have a conversation to see if making a move right now might make sense for you. Thanks for watching.